competing now for a number of months now, a few months, and um, the competition's worth $8,000. Cran's just broken the ball, and um, as you can all see, he's gone in off. Shane's uh, playing off next week, I think, and he's in the top 20 of the State League, so uh, it's going to be a good match, and Cran's... Um, He's in the Masters, he's made the state Masters team, so congratulations to Cram. Let's, let's see what uh, Shane does here. He's nominated the, the Yellows. Yeah, it looks like uh, Graham could be in a little bit of bother here, but uh, let's see how we go. Yeah. You can see down on the bottom of your screen there, it's a race to five, so... Oh, he's missed a, he's missed a shot there. Cran's uh, back in. The Wiley Fox. Yeah, Cran has represented Australia a number of times and. Uh, he actually potted the black ball to win for Australia back in the um, late 80s, I think it was. A lot of you guys may know Stevie Pasco over here in the wheelchair, mad bomb supporter. Yeah, it's been a big uh, number of months in uh, the top four players out of the uh, competition which we held. Cran, Shane, Jimmy Spatieri and Lewis were the top four players. And they've got to play in the semi-final and hope they can make their way into the grand final. So it's a double that back. Uh, that ball on the left of the screen, I don't think he, he can reach that, but... Uh, That's it. As you can see from that view there, he's uh, sort of snookered on that ball there. Okay. This could be the start of uh, Cran's attack here. Uh oh, uh oh, oh he played a poor shot there, Cran. Two shots to a Shane. Should be all over, first frame.
this is this will be good practice for Shane next week. State titles. Nice potting here by Shane. Still got the two up his sleeve. Bang, there goes the black. That's the first frame to Shane fell. All business today, Shane. Played, he's played well throughout the year. This is the, this is the uh, Northwestern Pool League um, who organised this competition and um, it's got to do with um, clubs uh, from Mooney Ponds, Altona and the Hoppers Crossing Club. And coming up to the table now, he's got uh, an open table, so he'd be a bit angry from the first frame, so we'll see what happens here. Yeah. Oh, bad, bad miss by Crown there. Yeah, he's played a bad shot there, Shane. And, uh, he looks like he's a little bit snooping on that uh, yellow in the centre. Oh, nice shot, no. Out of the semi-finals that we did have to run yesterday, uh, Shane did. Shane Fell did finish on top with uh, 14 fr frames. Cran ran second. Jimmy Spateri and Lewis. Sizing this opportunity up. Yeah. 
maybe to uh, pot out on Cran. 30 seconds have just been called, so... Oh, he's left himself on the bottom, bottom rail down there. Yeah, thanks to the Hoppers Crossing Club for allowing us to play down here. in the centre and roll the red down the rail. Crank maybe back in the box seat, who knows. The, the corner pockets are very uh, tough, they're not easy. True what they say about Danny Lynch, you know, he sets it up and it, it, all the food in the area. <laughs> oh no, see what I mean guys, that, those corner pockets, they are a bit tough. The rubbers around that, they're, they're not that good, they're not that good. He gets the position on the yellow after he pops this near the black. It'd be 2 0. Hang on a minute. Cool. Well, he's on the uh, yellow into the centre. This is our black ball a little bit down towards the left hand corner pocket. Yes, that's yeah, good shot. Good shot. 2 0. 2 0. Quans under the under the whip. Okay, we're back to the third frame now and uh, ground the break. He's potted the, potted the yellow off the break. Probably look like he'll go to the reds and may try to pot out. Nominated the reds. This is a game that uh, Cran must win.
you know, it looks like it's all there for Graham. It's just a matter of um, working out the puzzle and one, two, five reds. Nice little shot. Holds the light for the red down in the left hand corner pocket. Yeah, so this is the semi-final, another semi-final come up after this. Um, Jimmy Spicheri and Lewis. Should be another good game. Prize money of $8,000. Shot by Cran. Don't know whether the black's going to go in the centre or in the same right hand corner pocket. It's the last ball winning. in a hole there. Straight in buckets. 2-1. Shane Fell leads 2. Cran Wrigley 1. Can't fall too far behind. Yeah, if you're in the area, come down to the Hoppers Club. Beautiful uh, premises, restaurant, pool tables, pokies, everything that you need. Come down, have a look. If not, join the North Western Pool League. Uh, you can play at a Mooney Ponds, Altona Workers Club, or here at the Hoppers Club. We play every Wednesday nights. We're, um, we've just joined with uh, Victorian 8 Ball, Diva. We're affiliated with them, so if you're looking for somebody you want to play in the state titles, come down and have a game. It's practice down here on uh, Tuesday nights. It's all free of cost. Four tables. Just come down here and become a member. We can all see the Cran wants to play the red over the hole, but um, he'd love to play something else and leave that there for Ladies maybe gents. last, maybe. He's going to play that ball over the hole. Oh, oh no, he's snooking himself. It looks like he's sat on the yellow and snooking himself. Just starts for a total. That's, that is Scotty Henderson there, the judicate. He's the president of the North Western Pool League. So, yeah, he's just taking it up this year. It is a total.
Not a bad shot. He might have, he might have yeah, he's tailored him back. Just sitting beside Danny Lynch, he's had uh, eight sausage rolls, six pies, half a dozen dimmies. He should be paying us. <laughs> When's, where are you working next, Dan? You working next week somewhere or state titles or anything like that? Nothing? The Nationals up at Albury here in uh, October? Yeah. Bit of our luck there by Shane. over the hole. People walking around the table, you should get that blocked off. Not the best of shots there. Um, just left him a hard shot. Left himself a hard shot. Yeah. Very nice. Not bad. Yeah, that ball close to the, the white ball on the left hand side there, he's probably looking to play that red inside the yellow in the left hand corner pocket, that's what Al Cran's looking at. Got to work, work his way around it. <laughs> Darren Wade also plays down here at Lopez Club too. Him and Cran, they play in this competition, so it's a good competition. Got two Masters players. Shame's hoping to make it into the state side this year. We'll see how he goes next week.
Well, I don't know whether he uh, lifted his head up or um, it was just a bad shot. Got the right position on the white ball, but he just missed the red. So yeah, if that yellow goes into the centre hole, it's uh, just about over, but uh, it doesn't look like that yellow next to the black goes, in, goes towards the centre, otherwise he would have been playing it by now. Now that ball might go in towards the centre hole. We screw across to the ball on the rail. Oh no. Yeah, those centre pockets, you play them a bit hard, they just, just don't go in there. It's those bloody rubber things around the hole. They hit that, they bounce out. You know, if they were the netting type of tables, they'd go straight in there. Well, this could put, put the crown back to a two all here. Oh no, he's miscued. He's miscued crown. I think he saw the bright city lights and uh, forgot about hitting the white ball. Well, with these two. Want to pop this and snap yourself? No, good shot, good shot. The black here, you know, he goes up the top right, cut center. He's got two shots. I don't know whether it goes past the red there to the left-hand corner pocket. See what, see, we'll see what he does. It looks like he's going to try to screw into the black or knock it out a little bit. No, no, good shot. Screws it into the red ball. Two on the black. And that's uh, 3-1. 3-1. Race to five. Okay, he's got a little bit of a wriggle room there, but uh, he, he, he wouldn't want to lose the next game. Okay, we're back. Cran's looking out the window, looking up in the sky, hoping for a bit of luck, praying to God. Well, he's got a ball. He's got a ball off the break, and yeah, this could be an opportunity right now to get back to uh, three two. nominated the Reds, which Stevie won, you could say that.
He's arming an arm in the Ukraine. This may be a little bit too, too far below the red ball, maybe. He doesn't want to lose uh, position on the one in the centre or the two going into the left-hand corner pocket. What's he playing here? He's playing, what's he playing at the cannon down at the bottom of the left hand corner pocket or? He has. Oh. Now he's. Now there's no Jackie there between the two reds and that red sticking out down the bottom down there. He can't straight, straight shoot it. Well. Yeah. Oh no. Just holds on. Just holds on. <laughs> that yellow goes underneath those two reds. He might, he might be just a little bit George Snooker there. Well, he thinks it's on. Very nice, very nice shot. Yellow sitting on the rails next to the uh, next to the yellow ball is going to put in the centre. Wonder where that ball is going to go. for the double. I'll see how see how he goes here. He doesn't like it. He might be too square or a little bit below it. No, you had to be probably a little bit higher up and then cut it back. Let's see if you can play that jack and get, get the white ball down the bottom and Just escape there, just escape. Plays the middle red to the right hand corner pocket, a little bit of stun. Play the yeah, he's looking at it, probably gone a few inches too far, but 
that yellow could just help him out a little bit. There. Okay. Okay, well done, Cram. It's 3-2 uh, now, Shane Fowles' way. Okay, in the sixth frame here, uh, showing the break, which is his advantage here, can make it 4 2. Oh, ball off the break and the white ball in, in as well. And he reckons he should go for the yellow in the centre hole and roll down for the one, one down the bottom. Maybe put that in or over. Bello. He does know a few things about Paul Denny. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Oh. Jeez. He's probably snooping on that ball on the left-hand side. That's the best he could have known, Cran. Don't know where all that red ball goes in towards the centre, but he's going to open up a few balls, Shane. Mm. Killed his red ball and just put the uh, yellow close to the left hand corner pocket. the way the crown's playing this game he, he needs a back to three three and he can open his shoulders up to make it four three five three he desperately wants to win this crown it's over shane nice shot nice shot two shots
30 seconds. All right, he's put the L over in the left-hand corner pocket. One shot remaining. Whether he's going to play this slow down the rail or put put that one over the hole first. Oh, he's going to pop that one. Working it out, do I break this pack open and go for it, or how hard shall I hit it? Oh, oh! He's sneaking himself in the two bottom ones, but he's got the the top one to the left-hand corner pocket. He's got lucky there, very lucky. Just wondering if that uh, red ball next to yellow there, after he plays his shot down to the right hand corner pocket, he can play that underneath the two yellows. That's what he's looking at. gone too far down or hasn't gone high enough. Maybe Grant's got here is double the uh, yellow ball back to the right hand corner pocket. Or the uh, the red's the yellow's covering the red over the left hand corner pocket. If he happens to pop that uh, one to the right hand corner pocket, he might break out the other yellow. Are you playing it that way? We'll see what. <sighs> Good on you, mate. That shot there could just give uh, Shane a bit of control over the, over the table now.
Yeah, no shot there by Shane, just slowing things down a little bit. Very nice. He's left a hard shot, whichever way he plays. Yeah, 20 players started this competition a few months ago now and um, the top 10, we had the Rep and Charge top 10 and they're going to be playing their final in the next hour or so. Uh, prize money of $8,000. Everybody that played in this competition got something back. And a lot of experience was had by all. We'll be running another um, $8,000 comp on the 24th of September. We're going to be running over 10 weeks. We're going, this one's going to be sh short and sharp. To play in the competition, you must be a member of the Northwestern Pool League. Got Lewis Davis sitting beside me. He's playing in the finals next game against Jimmy Spicheri. You feeling all right, mate? No pressure. No trope. Lewis, Lewis has been a uh, three or four-time singles champion down at the Northwestern Pool League. When you see him play in the next game, you'll see you'll understand how good he is. He doesn't get out much, but uh, he's well known in the uh, Northwestern Pool League.
Oh, oh. Well, what do you think about the situation there, mate? He's given away two shots. Enough room there for the black to, to go in. It's three all, race to five. Very nice break by there by Cran. Oh, the black, that red doesn't go past the red over the hole. Doesn't look like it. Cran threw his head back three times now, so it doesn't go doesn't go in. Yeah, down at the Northwestern Pool League, Cran plays for the team called the Chalkers, mate. Captain by a very experienced guy. And they keep winning the grand final every year. Sits over the hole. No. I don't think he saw the hole. I think he saw the dollar signs. He missed it. <laughs> oh, oh, nice shot by Shane Fell. Could that miss be the costly mistake? Shane could be on the hill for free. Let's see what happens. Does he take the one to the left hand corner pocket first? Could have got a little bit more square on that ball, but job's done there. What do you think, Lewis? He was probably worried about it. It was a little bit too high up on that yellow ball. He wasn't going to get the position on the uh, the last yellow. I told you when Graham was looking out the window, he was praying to God. Mm, 
bed position is not that well either. He probably just may play the jackie down the bottom down there and just put all the balls in that left hand corner pocket. No, he's just going to cut this one in the centre. It's not bad. Yep, nice little angle to get get around to the one in the centre. Still with the cross play to the left hand corner pocket, that black ball. Beautiful shot. By the way, my name's Frank Reynolds and happy to be doing this cue ball TV with Danny here and down at the Hoppers Club. that uh, black go past the yellow? I think so, yeah. Yeah, very tight, very tight. Can I, yeah. You can't, he's really going to, either, either he's going to try to um, maybe double it back, a hard cut in the centre, but that black going past the yellow down to the right hand corner pocket it is on but it's but it's very tight very tight yeah, yeah just hit the yellow ball snooking him on the black too. Is that a snooker Lewis? Total read? It, it total. It is a total. Shane got away with one there. What would you guys do at home in this situation? I don't think Crown can swerve around it. Well, he's, he's hoping for something like that. There. Oh. Well. It's a situation here where Shane can pull it out, but uh, there's a little bit of a gap between these two balls here, the white and the yellow down there. That's alright, that's alright, he's got it into the centre. That's the problem though in the centre, you can only you can only just roll them in. If you belt them in, they won't go in. Yep, good shot. On the black, he's on the hill. Just four three.
foul break, open table. Gray needs this one, as we all can see. He's down 4 3 against Shane Fell. Shane keeps telling me he's always looking for a money game out there, so give Shane a ring. Don't forget about the Scotch Doubles down at uh, Slates next month, on the 3rd of September, I think it is. The Saturday or something in, in September. You know, you know anything about that, Dad? No. Mixed Scotch doubles and slates in, in September. I think it's a fifty dollars entry. Have to give slates a ring. That's a foul snooker. Foul snooker's been called, and uh, Lewis beside me reckons it is a foul snooker. Foul snooker's been granted. Wonder, wonder if he's going to get the ball in hand or. Have a crack of the black and get those two reds out and see where they land and do your best. Black ball has been nominated. I'll be determined to run this one down in or over the hole and come out for the one near the near his hands. Next shot. Good shot there by Cran. Does that red go past? We're just gonna have a look see if the red goes past the black. Yeah, just been confirmed the red does go past the black. Probably just played, just dropped this into the centre hole and... Yeah. It's yeah, another head pin like that last black that Cran just missed. It's it's a fraction of the way. Yeah, it's been stiff the last two frames on the black. Uh, 
I would imagine that Shane would be looking for a snooker here somewhere. Well, if you can play that Jackie, it would be a good shot, but you don't want to. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, snooker there. Very hard to get out of this one unless he goes down the top top rail and the right hand rail to come back down and pot the black. That would be a miracle. That's the only shot he's really got. Could be a bit tough going across the table. Yeah, just talking to Dan Lynch about this shot. I said, what did he call that shot? It's a bloody tough shot. Oh, 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 gee. I thought it was going to kiss the yellow and, <laughs> and knock the black in. <laughs> well, he's left it all right. He's left it uh, reasonably safe. He's only got uh, that one ball next to the black. That's that's about his only option. Thirty seconds. Yeah, he's got this ball across the other side. He'll snook him. I oh, know. Yeah, that's all he could do. Maybe half ball snooker on this. Can't double it back. It could be his only problem here. And once he leaves that black ball out, Shane will snooker him once or twice. And that could be it. I think uh, Crown's going to go for the uh, alley-oop here. No, still, just still leaving it in the, down the bottom, down near that hole. With that saying too much, he's probably going to snooker behind those two yellows in the, near the right-hand corner pocket down there. And if he gets two, Yeah, nice shot. It's just my thoughts. I think you'll play this one to centre. Play the second yellow into the right hand corner pocket. And then he'll try to go around and break those two balls up a little bit near the black ball. He's got a free shot here. He's got two shots, so. Well, didn't work out. He only just, only just split the yellow ball up a couple of inches. He'd probably go straight down the bottom now and try to put those two balls into the right hand corner pocket. No, no. Jagged it. <laughs> He's jagged it. Still two shots remaining. 
Oh, he's missed the first one. Oh my God. It's going to be hard for him to play that board and pace along the rails. No, it's not quite. You see what I'm saying when he pulled that ball and Roy should have gone down up the top and played those balls earlier than played the, the cannon down to the left hand corner bottle with two shots remaining. He's got one shot. One shot for glory mate. Is Danny Lynch has told me one thing, said he's going to go in the hole, or he's going to sit over the hole. <laughs> yep, it's going to sit over the hole. He, you know, he took a shot to nothing, he's 4-3 in front. Crane's got to pop this to make it hill-hill. You know, if he wasn't confident in potting it, maybe he should have just knocked the, the yellow up a few inches and left the wad on the rail. Give him the crack at it. Oh, lovely pot. Lovely pot by Cran. It's 4 all. Joan Arbor training's just on the radio here right now, saying I'm right on target. <laughs> My aim is straight. Yeah. Four all on the hill, last frame, crown to break. Okay. Oh, could be open table, it is. Ooh. That yellow's open down near the red balls down there, past the ball climb. Anyway, Cran's got experience and Shane's uh, finding his way. Nice shot. You know, if this doesn't go to plan, the reds are still on too, so... Looking, looking down for the jackie down there, the red down the rails. Made the yellow's a little bit worse, that shot. You might just have a little gap there to play that yellow across to the right-hand corner pocket. Or you'll, you'll just pump the, the yellow out, leave the water on the bottom rail. Thanks, Gretchy. What are you? Oh. Every time he needs to play that money shot, he just seems to miss like the, the last game around the corner, but he still won that. But 
Latest. Oh no, he's Shane's missed that as well. Enough room to play that red across the left hand corner pocket. Lovely shot, but it's gone in. It's gone in. He's missed it. Oh my god. That's what final pressure does, guys. Four all. And we're talking about big money too to the winner. This is where I think that Cran's experience right now could come to the fore. to be a little bit higher on that but just past the balk line there but Kill the ball. I wonder if you can double that ball back and to the left hand corner pocket there and do something, cover up one of those balls. Is he going, is he going to the left hand corner? Yeah. Oh. For the pace. Not too bad. There's only one thing the show wants to do is cover that uh, pocket with that yellow sticking up. What's he going to do here? Just push. 30 seconds. There. Oop. There. That was, that was his plan, Cran, to cover that yellow and make it a bit harder. Leave it, leave it. 
let him have a few more shots, but uh, he's gone in off. He's gone past the yellow in the centre hole there. Better he plays that one near the red on the bottom rail out and just plays the Jackie Jack in the one in the centre. No. You go either way, one in the centre, yellow in the right hand corner pocket, he's got the black open anywhere he wants to put it. There's the first semi. Five four Shane fell. Well done Shane, well played. We'll just have a 10 minute uh, lapse and we'll get back to you about four o'clock. Thank you.